good afternoon, everybody. My name is Witold uh, Kuznicki. I represent MGGP Aero from Poland. Uh, thank you for the invitation. And uh, let me say that it's a pleasure to be here to represent one of the uh, most interesting Polish companies in mapping sector. Uh, why Oblix? And what is Oblix? It's all about the imagery. Chinese says that one image is worth of thousand words. We provide such information for many different customers. Information based on the imagery that is useful in measurements, in uh, seeing the whole context. So Oblix EU, it's a website when you can check our technology. And for those of you who are from Poland, no Polish, it's ukośne.pl so ukosne.pl, that you can find some cities, uh, some uh, information about the technology and some examples. Uh, so first, uh, we, pre we prepared a movie about the company, who we are and what we do, so just focus on the quick movie. Now you know who we are and where we do and uh, let's say what we do. We've been uh, on the market for several years. We grew up to 70 people. We operate fleet of seven aircrafts with 16 sensors totally. We are focused on Polish market and we are an unquestionable leader of the photogrammetry market in Poland. But from time to time and uh, more often I would say, we operate uh, abroad and we try to expand our services uh, in different countries. We use, anyway, we use the state-of-the-art technology, so we are very, very welcome uh, in other countries uh, with our services. What is oblique image? Which of these two images would you prefer to see to uh, view an object in a more detailed way? It used to be a vertical image, the most popular such uh, uh, form of information as a map, uh, considered as a map. And we figure out that if we can see something more that roofs or, or any objects on the ground uh, with an angle about 45 degrees, this is something new and uh, gives you more information. So compare these two images, and figure out which, which one is uh, the best one. So, uh, get back to the aerial imagery. On the left side, you have a vertical image of a sky tower building in Wrocław. And on the right side, you have the same building, the same place of the city, uh, image on the oblique one. You can compare those two images and figure out which image represents more information. Uh, oblique imagery is not only one direction. It works with four 
main directions. So we can see any building from the north, from the south, from the east and from the west. So it gives you a full context how it looks like, not only the roof, but the facades, windows, colors, uh, and uh, surroundings. We developed an uh, internet web application for synchronic syn syn uh, possibility of zooming in, zooming out, pan zooming, uh, any, any, any part of the city. This is uh, being presented on, on uh, ICT um, Expo Week. Uh, we published some information about this product early spring and it became a uh, became very successful product. More and more cities in Poland are interested in this uh, kind of services. So uh, on the main menu, on the main window, you have a possibility to see the building from the top, from the from above, yes, fr it's called Nadir. On the right side you have a possibility to choose any oblique view and when you are viewing oblique image, you can also measure the height of the building, distance and area. This is an example of measurements. Uh, we developed uh, such mapping technologies, such services to uh, help cities be smart. I mean, it's the best possible way to show the value of the city, to show the mm, offered investment offer of the city, and to for also for the touristic uh, purposes to show and explore the city from any part of the world. Thank you for your um, thank you for your time. If you have a question, I'm going to uh, answer. If not, uh, there is an oblique EU uh, internet uh, address to explore such technology. For some of you, I have s prepared some folders without portfolio, so if you are interested, just let me know. Thank you very much. Uh, so I, I would also like to ask a question for the end. Can you explain what are the indu other industries, what are the mm, uh, your other clients uh, uh, besides the, the cities? Mm -hmm. Besides the cities, we provide our services uh, connected with uh, laser scanning services. It, uh, it's kind of a 3D measurements that we do parallelly with aerial imagery. Uh, for example, we scan a whole network of uh, high voltage uh, power lines in Poland. It's being used to analyze the, the um, surroundings in case of anything happens with trees, with falling trees, uh, with the temperature, with the heights between power lines and houses, roads, things like this. We provide our imagery to uh, yellow pages services uh, like Panorama Firm um, like Google, like Zoomi. We also do have a map2.pl online shop, first one in Poland that provides aerial photography via internet, so it's really useful and easy way to to show what we have for the for the territory of Poland and you can click and easily pay very 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 um, low price and get the image on your computer and use it as you want. Okay, and I don't know if you've mentioned this or maybe I missed this, mm -hmm. but uh, I've heard that your technology that you developed helps to analyze the the potential of roofs in the city. Yes, I've missed that uh, that issue. During the flying above the city, we do not only acquire the imager, we can uh, we can start on with laser scanning technology and acquire the information about heights of the building, about the roofs, and make a really quick analysis of solar potential uh, of the city. Uh, for uh, We can analyze uh, DTM, digital <coughs> terrain uh, model, for uh, uh, anti-flooding analysis or, or the other crisis situations. So it's uh, really interesting for the city management and for the homeland security as well.
Thank you very much. Thank Are there you. any more questions? The, the, I've showed you the map that we were flying before. Yes, we have some clients. Uh, for example, this year we were flying in Germany, Croatia, Slovenia, Latvia, Romania and Turkey. So uh, we try to expand our services abroad. We are very uh, flexible with, with our services so we, and having the state of the art technology we can use it any, anywhere it's useful or any, any, anywhere we, we win a tender for example, yes. Are there issues about privacy? Uh, we can say there are some issues but uh, the resolution of the images uh, allows allows you not to recognize the faces, recognize the plates, cars, things like this. So with a resolution of five centimeters, it's called grand sample distance, five centimeters, there are no, let's say there are no issues, yes, but anyone uh, can see mm, what can see, yes. If there are some secret service structures, uh, like uh, some army, army structures, yes, we provide we do some mosaic, we do some interrupts in, uh, in, uh, in uh, imagery that can, no one can, can find it about. So. Okay, any more questions? We try to show the resolution one to one, let's say, we're scaling one to one, so so we do not increase or decrease the resolution. We try to show the best quality that we can achieve, yes. Of course, of, of course, technology changes and uh, it's hardly hard to say what's gonna be in five or 10 years. Uh, optics and uh, digital format cameras are changing we can see the, the the big flow of technology on our smartphone yes how many many megapixels we have in smart right now in our smartphones and how how uh, how, how it was in five or ten years ago so we'll see mm -hmm. Google, um, it's, a, it's of course a global company that, uh, that, that has a Google Maps service and we've been providing um, nadir imagery, not obliques, for Google Maps for the territory of Poland. So when you Google Poland on the maps, you see basically our images and if the, the, the information. So when you go to Poland, when you search Krakow or any Polish city, when you zoom in, you see the little, little, um, little mark MGGP around that that image become became from us. Oh, it's hard to say because uh, we have like uh, 200 projects yearly, but uh, we can say that if our imagery is available on the internet and for example the google maps and other services is is being watched like uh, every every month like by 10 million polish people let's say in, in just from the territory of poland so we can say 10 million users is l looking at our 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 maps but uh, as i said we have up to 200 uh, projects yearly of course, big institutions, cities, uh, industries. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs>